as it becomes increasingly evident that the crisis of Western civilization is in the last resort a spiritual crisis, which due to the absence of great common and compelling convictions, and that none of the ideologies which are at present in control can pretend to bring about a true integration, men everywhere are searching for a new universalism. We are entering an age of universalism. Wherever you turn, one speaks about global education, global information, global communications. Every profession on earth now is acquiring a global dimension. The whole humanity is becoming interdependent, is becoming one. It is very likely that this parliament and what is happening now in the world, about which I will say a few words later, is a renaissance, a turning point in human history. So even the astrologers uh, begin to tell us that there will be a fundamental uh, change. So that everything turns to this. In the United Nations, I've seen the first efforts to deal with the material aspects of life. Avoid wars, prolong life, uh, get food to all peoples around the world, help the children, eradicate epidemics. It was the most incredible page dealing with the material life of people. In seven years from now, we're going to have the year 2000. We're entering into the third millennium. And as uh, Gerald Barney is showing in his paper, there are so many people in the world, institutions, who are beginning to look into the third millennium.